One year ago, I left school to focus on what made me happy, to chase those ideas that seemed unrealistic. I picked up a camera to document the process and to capture the stories and memories in between. Little did I know, my camera would help me travel across the world, meet amazing people, and change my outlook on life. There is a lot more to the story than just photos and videos, and with you, I want to share all the travel, lifestyle, fashion, and the memories in between. The Philippines were some of my first travels this year, so let's begin with that. My week started out with a quick trip to New York where I got to see two of my best friends get engaged in their favorite city. I then flew back to Seattle, drove up to Vancouver, BC, and explored around there while the weather was nice, and now I'm back in Seattle, Washington, and it brings me to this next day. What is going on guys? It is early morning out here. Me and Mason are doing a little local adventure. We're headed out to a few spots, a few waterfalls. Mostly doing this just to get some fresh air. I've been editing on the computer all week, so this is going to be nice. Mason is uh, starting his starting his trip to the waterfall. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. Now we just got to get our stuff over the fence, and then we're good to go. The first place that we're exploring is called uh, Snoqualmie Falls, and it's actually like 30 minutes away from Seattle, which is crazy. Yeah. It is a good looking Friday out here in the Pacific Northwest. We've been having rain all week, so it hasn't been fun, and you can't really explore when it's just pouring down rain. So this is kind of refreshing, it's nice. We are also the first people here, which is always a benefit. Me and Mason woke up super early to get here. Whoa, if you guys want to know how we get photos and videos with absolutely no people in them, waking up early is a major key, a major part of that. Because nobody wants to wake up for sunrise, apparently. That's but we do, but we do, so it's all good. Of course. to uh, go refuel with some coffee and then we're gonna do a quick little hike today uh, before we get our day started. These falls are especially cool because when I was growing up as a little kid, I used to come here all the time and we used to swim at the riverbed and have a good time. As time progressed, they built this uh, hydroelectric plant here and they kind of blocked it off. So if you guys do hop over the fence, make sure you do it at your own risk because uh, flash floods are very possible, especially this time of year but me and Mason stayed safe. <laughs> All right, so for this hike, we want to take the Inspire drone. As you guys can see, it comes in a big little suitcase, which is uh, not the funnest to travel with. We're making Mason carry the suitcase all the way up to the top, or me, I guess. We're gonna throw it in this little low pro backpack that's made for drones. So let's see if we can fit that big Inspire on this little backpack. Hopefully it works, because it would make life uh, a whole lot easier. Little side note, me and Mason met on this hike a few months ago, and now he's been helping me out on a bunch of projects. We've become good friends, so this is where it all started. It is where it all started. Woo! Just like that, we got the Inspire on this little uh, cool little low pro backpack. I'll link it down below if you guys have an Inspire to carry around instead of that big heavy suitcase. We got that all packed up, now we're gonna grab the cameras and we're good. We are halfway up the hike, really hard carrying all this stuff. Life's not easy, right? No, it's not easy, <laughs> but you know, it's okay. We're, we're charging along. It's the final stretch, bro. <sighs> Ooh. We made it, guys. <sighs> Incredible.
as the weekend came around, I was able to reconnect with one of my friends, Justin, who is a DJ and producer. And during the day, we were able to talk about some future projects and plans that we want to do together. And then during the evening, I was able to take out some friends to his ultraviolet tour, and it was just the most incredible night ever. One of my biggest goals for 2018 was to expand on YouTube and start producing more videos. I want to show you guys my day-to-day -day life, what a normal week looks like, and how I got to where I am today. So if there's anything that interests you, please leave it down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed the first video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.